It is time for today's big game breakdown. Let's go to the association on Tuesday night and take a look at the Dallas Mavericks facing the Phoenix Suns in a crucial game five showdown. Right now, look at the Wager Talk live odd screen. We've seen a bunch of over money in the last hour or two. 213, now bet up to 215. I'm even seeing 215 and a half starting to pop up. This total, uh, the, the side, you can lay six, you can lay six and a half. This is one where you want to shop around and make sure you get the best of the number, whichever side you like. If you like Dallas, you want the plus six and a half. If you want Phoenix, you want to lay the minus six. And I'm going to look at the Phoenix side in this ballgame. Look, this is a Suns team that I think learned from their experience last year when they won the first two games against the Bucs, lost the next two on the road, and then proceeded to get swept out of the series and losing them four straight, including that crucial game five at home. They had this situation. They should have learned from it already. Okay. And, of course, we look at what's happened the last couple of games in Dallas. Two things happened. One, the Suns, who have been shooting unsustainably hot, finally cooled off. And Dallas played great defense. You know, Luca, our defense won us these two games. And I agree. Their defense was great. That being said, it's not like the Mavs are going to hit three-pointers the way they hit in game four. 20 of 44 from beyond the arc. Dorian Finney-Smith... Not just his playoff career high, but his career high in any game. Uh, you know, eight uh, uh, made three pointers. You know, Finney Smith's been hitting. Maxi Kleber's been hitting. Reggie Bullock uh, has been hitting. They're all testing the Suns' perimeter defense. I'm not convinced those shots are going to fall as well tonight as they did in the two games in Dallas, particularly with Phoenix, their defensive acumen. And of course, Chris Paul had about as bad a game as you can have uh, in game four. He had that one foul right before halftime that was a difference maker in the game. Got his fifth foul two and a half minutes into the second half. Sat out the rest of the third quarter. Came back in in the fourth uh, and played about, what, two minutes of the fourth quarter. He played three minutes and 58 seconds in the second half. You know, Chris Paul, quote, got to look at myself and figure out how to do better. He can. He will. Devin Booker, quote, we understand that it's a series. It's a playoffs for a reason. We're going to make our adjustments. I think we just have to flush it. And move on to the next game. And, of course, the Suns have had turnovers, 17 turnovers in each of the two games in Dallas. Jay Crowder, that's not us. We haven't done that all year. You know, I agree with all of that. And, of course, Monty Williams. It's 2-2, and we work to be in this position. So I told our guys we have the mindset of coming back here and winning this thing. I think the Suns win tonight. I would not be surprised at all if they win it fairly comfortably. Even in this point spread range, I think Phoenix is more than capable of covering the number. Sons or pass for this better in game five. And there's your big game breakdown. Back to you, Mr. Pratt.